To the sun. Lately I'm feeling like you know I'm gonna be the one putting the city on Albuquerque, you know the gritty one Got kicked out of the 8th grade and I'm still getting on Oh, yeah, Rody no TikTok I be with my dogs and we so high Yeah, the girls, they be texting me and saying Johnny, I just need you to come over, baby Need you up in my tummy oh. I be grinding, I've been rolling I've been dicing up these rappers when I'm writing Goddamn, I don't even gotta write This shit's exciting in the sun, being on my dogs, man, I swear we be the one, I got room to bring everybody with me along, let's put on the fucking city, motherfucker, put it on, put it on. Oh. I have this weird connection to Zan through Kinfolk John, and two years ago when I released my EP, John had Zan repost it on his SoundCloud and that was like truly, I really attribute that to like the fucking trajectory where shit started taking off. Cause like, you know, Zan's big. He has like 320,000 fucking uh, followers on SoundCloud. And so when he did that, it was like everything started going into the tens of thousands. Mm. And ever since then, it's just been going up. So I have this like, anytime someone brings up Zan, I don't know him, but like I have this weird connection through Kinfolk John and the homie that we lost. And like, been up it's the crazy, been dude. Up and there's the, there's the New Mexico tie, which is dope. Yeah. Because he's from Taos, you know, bro. Like, my boys, they, Zan was just kind of, Zan was a fan of them. Mm. They were rappers and they were doing shows in LA. And Zan was kind of like their little, like, the little homie that would like come around and fuck around and then like they were like oh why don't you rap and they started messing around like then Zan became little Zan what it feels like anytime I hear someone talk about him I'm like I feel like that I'm like tied to him even though like, he probably doesn't know who I am right <laughs> Hustle culture. Hustle culture. Do you even sip on tech? Look at these people, they're perfect. Look at yourself, you're just worthless. Try to be like those you worship. Hollow with no sense of purpose. Growing up in an environment that's not supportive of growth. Focusing more on the hate and often neglecting the hope. I just want to bring some change to those who need it the most. Don't wanna come off too preachy, but these issues take toes Lately distracted, look at my phone, think it's some kind of addiction Hours go by, it's my mind roams, now I'm just feeling afflicted Cancel to plans, don't sleep in advance, making me feel more distant But it's like most things in the world, balance is key to less friction How much money you got? How many followers watch? How many likes do you get? Do you even sip on tech? Look at these people, they're perfect Look at yourself, you're just worth it I think a side would be cool I think so too Dude, and if we're in a room full of spitters, some real shit's gonna happen. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah but fuck up. I don't know what we're just gonna do, bro. Oh! Talk <laughs> oh. oh. about mother on Instagram and shit. Oh! <laughs> I see these fucking kids with their bullshit, fake iced out bezel. I'm like, bro, just wear a normal watch at that point. Like, just wait. Just wait for your time. Oh. Yeah. Move to get to another place of ascension. Yeah, you fucking kidding me. Shit, dog, you've been through some shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a journey, bro. Shit. People just think you go in the studio and you lay some shit down and it's like done, but they don't know the little tweaks and, and moving the right. vocal up and compressing the EQ and then the overall mix. How does that sound in relation right. to the fuck, bro? Yeah. Every time I talk to you, it's like I'm talking, I feel like I'm talking to someone from a 90s flip phone. All right, goodbye. It's your phone. <laughs> <laughs>this was so cool and I've had it since I was like probably like 19 years old I've had this thing smoking weed ash and blunts in there for all these years and I've carried it all around the country from Florida to Pennsylvania 
to San Diego, Newport Beach, California, back to New Mexico. This this guy, I love this guy. Tipsy Town, Tipsy Townsman. And honestly, I should really say something about him in a song. I should probably shout him out. Uh huh. You know, I like that doing all these fucking collaborations and working with all these people and using all these stupid floor samples of carpet that I have in my studio randomly. Um, I get to do these different vibes. Like this is completely different than the last show. This 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 is on some more real. I can talk more shit here. Deeper into the soul type shit. I'm feeling like I've been just falling a lot Building these bridges, the height doesn't shock Yo, shout out to Valen for catching the shot All of the footage I wish that you saw And some of the things that I know you cannot Time over death, yo, it's all that we got Smoking on top of Sandy as we plot I got so many things going on inside my head I don't know what these are I've been doing drugs at the crib all by my side Censored, censored Counter space, overhead counter fucking counter space Nice corner deal, stove Backsplash all the way up to the ceiling. Backsplash all the way along. Wow, so look at that. So, and, and here, man, this is great that you're seeing this right now, the joys of rehabbing. So that tells me that when we just had that crazy ass rain, there's some sh serious roof leak going on that we didn't know about because this is all saturated. Can't make this shit up, folks. <laughs> this is like the part in the show, <sighs> I don't know if we're gonna make budget. And then after this commercial break, then they come back and they fucking, they lose everything, but then, and then at the very end, somehow they make 70 grand. It's like such bullshit. I got my king, bro. Being on my king, bro. Everybody in, bro. Now we fucking get mo. Stacks when we get flow. Flow like the water, yeah, the stream in the mountain. Soak up the sun. Yeah, I've been living like I ain't got another one. I've been partying and frying up my brain cells. Baby, I came from hell. You know I same sweat. I just suffered from traumatic experience. You know when I put on this, you know that we just hearing it. And we going like, it's so satiric. to a place where I, I was like, oh, I don't like this. Every time I feel like I have a free moment and no one's around, I'm like wanting to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I've like started to recognize it as like, yo, this is kind of like a fucking drug. I don't, I don't know if I'm down. 
around with this anymore. Right? Well, that's what you There's definitely some weirdo fucking crazy ass porn out there that's like borderline like fucking murder, you know, like beating bitches up, fucking, it's like, Jesus, you know, yeah. whoa, hey. Yeah, and I feel like that, necessary. the ability for someone to go just watch that shit freely, like, fucks with your head. Ooh. So I kind of want this to, this is like a big shout out to where I used to live, Grand Junction, Colorado. I lived there for two years. I'm going to honor that in this verse. Even though it's not about this at all, we're going to honor it, which is cool. My recollection, feel me when What's I'm dope riding. is we're saying some real and shit, you know, like, yeah. stay in we really are yeah. talking about real shit right greater now. Than yeah. myself in this confinement, yeah. this where we live in every... We'll just light that in the library whenever you're ready. Totally. Trying to go And before none of these people would fuck with me at all. That's it, folks. Then live in the flesh. Uh, Fucking networking. Hey, <laughs> Dominic said his society feels so sad and neglected. Phone addiction. <laughs> I exaggerate hustle culture. I encourage hustle culture. Sometimes, you know, the grind, the grind puts you in a state of delusion. You forget to eat. So I forgot today. I was trying to fast and then I just took it too far. So my bad. Sorry, mom. He did. He's automatic reported live from the 505. And today we're talking about two local artists making a big splash here in New Mexico. Have you all heard of Yandro? Have you all heard of Yandro? They fucked up his name. They called him Yandro. Sorry, bro. And Johnny Badluck? Well, if you haven't, you need to wake up and pay attention because they just released their video for Southwest Fiesta that's blowing up right now. Hey. And to be honest, my only complaint about the video is that Johnny Badluck is kind of a bad dresser. But I'm glad the music's fire. So, if you support these guys, we need to put on for the 